Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Diecast Resurrection. Today we are doing a custom for a patron. This is Jerry Rig Nova Wagon Gasser. Awesome car. Awesome car on its own. Fairly common. I think I got about four of them here to customize. We're not going to be going over the top with this thing, but we do have a, a little blue flame decal package that we are going to be installing. And he's kind of giving me the reins on this one, so I'm not sure how crazy we're going to go. But we are going to get started on it anyways, and we'll just see where we end up here. It's pretty, pretty straightforward for me. You'll notice in the background here, Stubby Blubs is stripped. Expect them to be repainted by the end of this video as well. <laughs> Big old wagon. Look at that. All kinds of little details on there a guy could paint. I got some new stripper. I don't know how well it's going to work. I tried it on Stubby Bob there, but the thing had so much clear coat on it. Alright, so we're going to strip this. Say goodbye to Jerry Rigged. And say hello to Blue Flame. Going to try the same old brush method. And if it doesn't go over well, then I'll probably switch to like a submerge method in the future, but we'll see how it does. I got this stuff called Super Remover, new generation stripper. Strongest stripper without methylene chloride, safe on wood, concrete, metals. This stuff is flammable, however. And it has a nice comforting aroma of vinegar, so... That's always good. I checked the SDS and everything. It doesn't even say that you need to, you know, wear a respirator. It pretty well is a poison, you know, like anything like this. So just don't eat it. But it's already a lot safer than the other stuff I was using. Kind of looks like poly stripper. It's kind of the white Marty gel. A bit more runny than the stuff I'm used to. It says just to put it on and let it sit, so we'll see. It's working on all the areas that had an edge where the paint would be real thin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you guys are unfamiliar with this blue flame decal package, it comes on eBay. And it's supposed to be for like a 55 Chevy. At least that's the picture they feature it on. We're going to have to make it work for this. So the car is more than likely going to have to be white. We're going to have to put some flakes on there. Some sort of sparkly something. Really make it glitter for him. Because that's the kind of stuff he likes. And we'll put this stuff on. But I was thinking we got such a big roof on here. Maybe we should do... Uh, Pick one of these blues from the decal and do a blue sparkly roof or something like that. It's doing it. It's taking a while, but it's doing it. Well, this is really boring, so I'm going to turn off the camera and I'll just come back with a clean car. Okay, then. Primer, both the stubby blubs there and the wagon. I'm going to paint the wagon with a white enamel. It's going to make it easier for me to put the decals on next instead of trying to get a little bit of clear coat in there or something like that. So. Oh, I haven't used this stuff in a long time.
Okay, car is painted. I put a little bit of silver cosmic sparkle. You can just see it's kind of got a little bit of a silvery look to it. I always use scissors for this. Cut all these out individually first. And then I'll trim them after. Blue flame. I wish the quality of these were a little bit better. They probably look all right on camera, but you can see printer lines on them. You can see it's kind of bad on this flame over here. All right, just trying to get a plan going here. A little roll of tape here, hold this up. Actually, it might not be as cool if I do that. It's the way this decal's got a flat spot on it. And it's kind of meant for the front, so we're going to have to do a little bit of trimming. but it's going to have to go on the front. Got no choice. It's pretty cool actually I like it so I'm doing two more gassers for this guy and they're gonna be gonna be interesting so those will be coming up on the channel and realize but we got a big one for the roof I don't know if I'm gonna use it though I think it's gonna be pretty tacky I think we might do the roof in like a blue stripe pattern kind of like a candy stripper really sparkly really glittery I think that might look better than just slapping more flames on this thing we got a little moon eye here to put one back on the other side too but it goes on this fender And we got one more of these to go right here. So I'll just get that one readying. I think maybe what we'll do is we'll we'll tape out the stripes and then we'll use this kind of fade they got going on here where it's dark to light. And I'll do the same thing with the candy, dark to light, and try to mimic the gradient that they have on this here side decal. It might be cool. Then you'd have like pearl white candy pearl candy as nice as a decal package is gonna put that little bit of die cast resurrection gotta spread some of that on there you know what i mean what's the, what's the die cast resurrection custom without some custom paint so i gotta i think i i, I gotta boop get up there Looks like it says SIGS. I'm not sure what all these classes mean. It's probably like gasoline, something, something, stock. I'm sure all the guys will just fill them out in the comments if you're looking for that information. Thank you. I like it. I think that's uh, starting to look real great. I wasn't sure if this decal kit was going to be good for this car, but it's doing it. So I think a lot of you guys, after watching that 118 scale Mercury, were kind of bummed out that you didn't get to see the light color teal. So I did our stubby blubs in the light color teal candy. And I've got blue sparkles on it. You can't see them right now. But I'm going to be clear coating this at the same time as I clear coat the wagon and then I'll unveil them both at the end. Click, 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 click. So 
I got a roof mast off. I'm going to just start laying some stripes down. I'm going to have to do this off camera. I'm trying to just eyeball it, but I need uh, need a better vantage point, so I'm not going to be able to film it. But that's basically all we're doing here. Okay, so I've literally got this taped down, taped down to my paper towel. Everything's covered. I don't have the tape pressing on the decals. So we're getting ready to do this candy. But first I'm going to hit this with a little bit of silver. Don't need a lot, just enough to, uh, just enough to put a little bit of reflectiveness below our candy. That's it. That's all we need. Pew, pew, pew. Now for our blue, I'm gonna use carbide blue. It's a very awesome, awesome color. Just need a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna clean the airbrush and get this ready. Guess we'll uh, we'll have a look and see what the damage is like. Have to be super careful removing that tape around those decals. Gonna have to do a little little teeny sandy sandy next to the the fronts of these couple of little stripes but for the most part it's all there and I'm feeling it uh. all right I've got our little spots cleaned up there one last thing we're gonna do before we paint is we're gonna give this a nice coating of more sparkles and we're gonna let that fully cure and then we are going to go ahead and do the clear coat Hell yeah, man! This thing is pimp. The only thing that went a little bit wrong, I shouldn't even point it out. I'm not even gonna point it out. Mm -mm. Hell yeah! So I don't plan on doing the interior. I don't like doing interiors personally. I like doing paint. And doing this interior for somebody else, that's something that I'm just not willing to even risk. So I usually don't do it on my own cars just because I can't do a nice job of it. So if he wants to do his interior, he's got two nice screws. All he's got to do is pop those out. He can detail that up himself, but I'm a paint guy, so I do paint. I did do blue headlights and I did do a wash in his grill. But man, this thing is cool. Pretty good stripes for eyeballing it, I'd say. Pretty good, pretty good. Notice I didn't do the, the tail lights because we're calling this one a drag car. Which it is. I mean, how is it not a drag car at this point? So, it's as far as I'm going with this one. It turned out pretty sweet. Let me get some lights over here. Here we go. We got some subtle sparklies in there, the whole car. Pretty pimp. I like this one. So there we go. There's our blue flame Nova Gasser. Very cool. Very cool indeed. I really like the look of this one and anyone who's a gasser collector would probably want one of these pretty bad. It's hard to focus on all the whiteness at the moment. I should think about getting one of those mirror top ones maybe. I, I don't know. I don't know. It is what it is. So that's our blue flame. It's very pimp. Very pimp. And as promised, 
there's our stubby blubs. So you can sure see the difference when you only do a couple coats of candy versus when you do like eight coats of candy. Anyway, we're gonna keep this like this for a while. I think it looks pretty cool now. Bloop, 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 bloop. Good enough to use on the show for sure. But anyways, you guys came here to see this today. So I wanna thank you guys for watching this video. Leave a like if you enjoyed this and I will see you in the next one. Uh -huh.